Hi everyone, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install your home's new 20 watt output uh, diode laser onto your 6550. Um, if you don't have the adjustable Z axis um, already, I highly recommend the uh, for you to get it because it'd be a lot easier for you to get your material into focus um, as this has a much shorter focal distance than uh, our previous lasers uh, about 15 or 5 to uh, 6 millimeters or so um, much different so first you're going to unplug your laser uh, disconnect the air assist if you have it uh, you're also going to remove uh, the old air assist from your adjustable Z axis if you do have it as uh, it's not needed for this uh, we also sell an accessory kit with uh, the proper diameter hose uh, to use with the uh, 20 watt laser um, you'll loosen out the the four bolts you have in the back slide it out and just remove sorry I'm working behind the camera here and remove the four bolts from whatever laser you have um, they're all the same thread so you'll be reusing them if you don't lose them and install them onto the back of the 20 watt laser just need to put in a couple threads So you'll be able to set it in on the adjustable Z axis or your acrylic plate. It's all, it has all the same uh, dimensions. Let's move this over a tad and set it as low as we can. And using the proper Allen wrench or hex key, tighten the bolts, making sure that you remain uh, perpendicular to your uh, engraving surface, so you have a straight uh, laser beam going straight down to it. So just snug them up slightly for now. And then go find a square. And finish tightening. Okay, so now that we have the laser module attached to your Z-axis, um, I'm going to go through the rest of the kit that comes with your laser. You're going to have your 24 volt power supply. This is crucial as the old 6550 is only a 12 volt machine. Um, this is what's going to actually send the power to your laser. Um, you're also going to have your focusing cylinder, which you can see is much thinner than uh, the uh, cylinders for our previous lasers. Uh, and your adapter cable. One end is going to have your PWM and ground that you're going to connect to your uh, control board. And then the other one you'll be plugging in the uh, 
power adapter, the 24 volt power adapter. Um, as well, on the other end is the four pin um, wire uh, connector for the 20 watt laser. Um, I'm going to be using the uh, 8 bit board. Um, this will also work on the 32 bit board if you have that for your 6550. I just happen to have my 8 bit connected uh, to the machine right now. Uh, doo -doo -doo. So, first, you're going to want to plug one end of your power adapter into a wall socket and then plug that end of the power adapter in. I apologize for the mess. This is uh, pretty much set up to do tumblers and everything's bolted down and screwed down so I don't have much movement of my machine. So now that the adapter is plugged into the wall, this cord is uh, going to re remain accessible so when I go to plug it in it'll uh, power my laser. Next you will take your control board and unplug your laser. Unfor uh, you have to leave the x-axis in so just unplug the laser and Plug in the adapter wire laser into the slot. Um, as well, this wire is almost two meters long, so if you do have the drag chain uh, accessory for your 6550, you should be able to uh, run that through your drag chain to your control board at the back. I, had, I don't have mine on here for the demonstration purposes. It was just easier for me to take it off and uh, bring it forward for you guys to see. Um, and then you would plug in, whoops, let's go around. And then you just plug in your adapter. This will send power immediately to the laser module, um, starting up the fan. Uh, however, the control board will still uh, control whether or not the laser turns on and off. So we'll put that down and then we're going to run the wire out of the way of everything. And then, once we got the proper orientation into the laser. So I don't have my board turned on. So as soon as I plug this in, it's going to power the fan. You'll see that in a moment here. Okay, and my control board's not on. Now my control board's on. Control board's off, but the power's still going to the fan. So you'll have to disconnect it. Okay, that's the only little setback. But it's not much of one for the, uh, the amount of power you're going to get out of this laser. Um, so that's really it. Uh, there's not much to installing this. It's very fast, very easy. And uh, I'm going to cut to, uh, I guess, uh, doing a tumbler. Thank you. So I set this tumbler up um, at 188 inches a minute, uh, about 55% power. This was completed in one pass. 
Uh, this particular tumbler had a smaller diameter around 2.9 and a larger diameter around 3.4, if I recall. And so I just tilted the fourth axis and adjusted in between the two uh, uh, variations. Um, and I completed this engraving in one pass, cleaned it up, and you'll see the end result shortly. Jungle.